go to Kevin. Kevin has a mystery. Okay. Um, in that file vault is mysteriously being turned off, or at least that's the title here. But um, Kevin says, years ago when I bought my 2014 MacBook Pro, one of the first things I did with the new machine was turn on file vault. It took several hours to encrypt the disk. Um, Back then, yes. Um, I saved a screenshot of the recovery key and I haven't thought about it again in years. Fast forward to this morning when I was looking through security and privacy in system preferences and saw that File Vault is turned off. I didn't turn it off and I don't know any way it could have been turned off. Uh, I'm very puzzled. A bit of Google Foo turned up, turned up nothing about File Vault being disabled without your permission. Here's my only theory, and I think it's a good one. About a year ago, the internal SSD was nearly full and I purchased a larger one. I cloned the original SSD to the new one using Carbon Copy Cloner and an external enclosure. Then I swapped out the original SSD for the larger one. Since Carbon Copy Cloner is file level copy, I assume that swapping the physical SSDs resulted in the new one not being encrypted. If that's the case, then I have to turn on File Vault again and encrypt the new SSD. If that's not the case, I'm completely at a loss. Um, I, I would say uh, his suspicion is correct in that making a clone results in an unencrypted drive that you then have to re-encrypt. Um, yeah, and then to continue, just an FYI for people that run into the same sort of thing here. Um, so he went to turn on File Vault, and then he got this dialogue saying, Recovery Key, a recovery key has been set by your computer, by your company, school, or institution. So when he got that, he clicked on a continue, but, but he never got a recovery key. So okay. he, uh, I guess, turned it off and then turned it back on again. <laughs> sure. Um, but as a follow-up, so he found out, I think, why this happened. So he figured it out and thought he'd share what he found. And, and in case anyone else gets caught, it turns out that when you restore a clone of a file vault encrypted drive, the newly restored drive is unencrypted, but it contains files about the old recovery keys in the keychains folder. Uh, removing those files will reset the system and allow you to start the file vault process from scratch. <laughs>